that will be here soon. Fit you up. See what's the matter with you, eh? At the Bondi Referral Hospital Sash, five-month-old Kaya has been brought in with a very unusual problem. Kaya's got this red lump below her bottom that I think really needs investigating. And when we first got her, it was just a tiny little nodule skin colour. And I thought part and parcel of being a pup. But as she's got older, it's got bigger and red. Anthea and her son Joel are hoping emergency vet Dr Lisa Chimes will be able to provide some much needed answers. I am worried, very worried about her. I won't be happy until I know what oh. it is. Hi. Hello. Hi sweetie. That's Kaya. Hi Kaya, I'm Lisa. Anthea. Joel. Nice to meet you. All right, come through. Anthea and Joel have brought Kaya in because they've noticed this fleshy mass protruding from her back end. She also doesn't want to sit down properly, has been licking the area and generally seems uncomfortable. So yeah, she's, she's sort of squatting there but not wanting to put her bottom all the way on the ground. Mm. That's definitely abnormal. Hey, sweetheart, do you want to lie down? Lie down on her side. Oh, good girl. So I can have a good... Oh! Hey, that really is sticking out. I see what you mean. What is going on there? As an emergency vet, I really don't see things like this very often at all. It's really unusual and it's a real concern for me. It's swollen, but when I have a feel of the area, it's actually coming from inside her private parts. Yeah. This lump has, has a firmness to it and, and it extends quite far inside. What could this, that be? Look, this is really unusual. My first impression is that it's the part that should belong on a male. Really? Really. However, it could also be some sort of a bit of internal tissue that's popped out or as unlikely as it is in a young dog, I can't say that it's not some sort of a tumour. It just makes me want to cry. Sad, eh? Yeah. It does, and when I think about that, my mind is racing. It's more serious than what I thought. Before we go any mm. further, let me get the second opinion from Andrew, our surgeon, and then we'll chat about what we can do. OK, thank you. I'm starting to panic now. Because she's my baby girl and I just don't want anything to um, be wrong with her. It's all right. Good girl. Hi. So what's up? Kaya has an abnormal bit of tissue, so to speak. Uh, Where? In her private area. Oh, private bits. <laughs> oh, no. Gosh. It sort of looks like an underformed um, male penis. I think really what's going on is she's a hermaphrodite, which means she's got girly bits, but she's got external boy bits. This condition happens every blue moon. I've never seen yeah. one before, so it is not common at all. Really, the, the only solution for Kai is I actually take that tissue out because it's obviously causing her some Did irritation, you? and it's only going to get worse, I think, as she gets older. So first thing is we've got to remove this penis because it's just causing her irritation. But the other thing we've got to do is desex her. We have to go in and, and take out either her ovaries or testicles because we don't know what they are yet. And the big problem with their testicles are that they're much higher risk of getting cancer if they stay inside the body. I guess the tricky bit about this is we don't know exactly where her urethra, which is a tube that goes from the bladder outside through which she urinates and pees. So we don't know where that is, we don't know where the opening is. Now if it's in that area somewhere, we're going to have to you know, reattach that further up. And that's, that is actually going to be the tricky bit. Okay. I think we need to do this sooner rather than later, so... So you're going to do... We'll just take you in today and we'll get it done. All right. All right? Okay, I'll so leave her in your capable hands. Capable hands, hands Thank absolutely. you very much. No, yeah, thank you. After her. Don't you worry, yeah. she will get lots of cuddles. Mm -hmm. We're going to make Kaya fully into a girl one way or the other. How I'm going to do that, not quite sure yet. I'll talk to you guys a bit later. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, you. Right, Thank you. Come on, Kaya. She'll be all right. Yeah, no, she'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, hi, Lisa. Hello. How's she going? She, well, she wants to go home. She says, Shoot. I'm fixed. So I take it it all went well. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It went really nice. Oh, she's, she's all girl now. 
Which we can't say she was before. Hey? It's been 24 hours since little hermaphrodite dog Kaya's life-changing surgery. Oh, it looks very good. Yes. Just uh, like a girl. Yep. A little bit of a nip and tuck and she's all there. Hey? <laughs> The surgery we did on Kaya is not one we have to do every day because it's a rare condition. But in Kaya's situation, we really needed to do it because she was really uncomfortable and it was only going to get worse. So now she's happy and Anthea has got the girl that she's always wanted. I am so excited to see Kaya again. I'm glad everything went really well, but I'm j I just can't wait to get my hands on her and give her lots of kisses and cuddles. <laughs> Not be happier to run down the corridor and jump into her mum's arms. She looks good. Oh, she does. She does. And Anthea cannot get that smile off her face either. She's able to go to the toilet normally now yep. and she's able to sit and she's not really even interested in licking that area, even though okay. she's had surgery there. She's yep. just happy. She's um, not as irritated and uh, now she's going to be able to lead a normal life. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. I'm so happy. I'm over the moon. I can relax now. Thank you. No problem. Appreciate it. Bye, Kaya. Say bye. Bye, sweetheart. Ah, she wants bye, to go. Bye, little girl. Kaya's only five months old, and she's been through a lot of surgery for such a young dog. But now she's got her whole life ahead of her. Bye, bye. Bye. Kaya. And Anthea cannot be happier. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.